Hello everybody, I'm Timo from Time Flies Tech, and today I'll be showing you my five favorite Android launchers for 2014. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we are with my trusty Note 2 running Phoenix ROM, and here are the five launchers. Nova Launcher, Action Launcher, Lightning Launcher Extreme, Smart Launcher, and Themer. First off, let's take a look at Nova Launcher. So guys, here we have Nova Launcher. This is one of my favorite launchers because it mimics the look of stock Android in basically the Android the way Google intended it to be. Um, you have your apps, drawer, and widgets right here. And, of course, it also comes with a lot of things you can customize about the experience. So if you go into settings and you go into desktop, you can change the scroll effect. For example, you have the cube and car stack for the free version. Um, if you get the paid version on the, in the Play Store, you can get a lot more options there. And you also unlock all the prime features, such as the unread counts and everything. And you can see that it has a lot of options on how to exactly make your home screen launcher your own experience. Another launcher I really like is Action Launcher by Chris Lacey. I like this launcher because it has a bit of a special feature about it, and this is. You'll notice that at the bottom here, there's no app drawer button. This is because you can swipe in from the left to access your apps, or you can just push the button up here. And Adding an app is as simple as dragging and dropping. Also, it has an interesting feature known as Quick Page, which, if you slide in from the right, will open a page with apps and widgets that you can customize yourself, and this can be accessed from the launcher, or if you go for the paid version, it can be accessed from inside any app you choose. So I would also really recommend getting the paid version of this app, because if you don't, you'll always have this little upgrade incentive down there, which can get a bit frustrating. And you get and you unlock the cool feature of having your quick page and quick drawer available in any app of your choice. Although it does tend to get a bit slower if you're using other apps. The third launcher I'll be showing you today is Lightning Launcher by Pierrox, which can be found on the Play Store as well. This launcher is unique because it thinks outside the box. Literally. While most home screen replacements will let you slide side to side, Lightning Launcher will also let you slide up and down, which really adds a whole extra three-dimensional feel and aspect to the whole thing. In addition, it's very light, means it's snappy and very responsive to the touch. And if you have enough creativity, you can come up with some awesome home screens. However, there is one disadvantage it has an immensely steep learning curve. You'll have to be willing to invest a few hours into learning how to get your home screens quite right with this one. So keep that in mind. Fourth, we have a launcher that could be considered the polar opposite to Lightning Launcher, Smart Launcher 2, where simplicity is its watchword. Here, you have a ring in the middle with the apps you're likely to use most. And yes, you can select which defaults you'd like to use for these apps. If you have multiple, for example, for music, I have Google Play Music installed. And you can also add extra circles as you see fit. So you can, you can choose out of the apps you want there. And also, you can get to your other apps by either pressing down here or by sliding in from the left. And what Smart Launcher 2 does, it attempts to group your app drawer apps into groups such as communication, games, internet, media, utility, and settings, which is pretty interesting. And if you feel that an app doesn't belong in a particular folder that it's predefined, you can always move them around manually, which is pretty awesome. However, it doesn't provide much in the way of customization. Aside from the wallpaper and the clock widget, you can't really change much, so that's something to keep in mind. Last but not least, one of my favorite Android launchers would have to be Themer for my color screen. If you want a great looking home screen, but you don't want to put all the effort in by using Lightning Launcher or Nova Launcher, then honestly, this is the app for you. It's free on the Play Store and comes with 
tons and tons of themes that you can apply to your phone just by clicking on it. Let's say we want to install the first one because we think it looks cool. Well, you tap on it, you wait for it to load, or failing that, you can just press apply. It'll download the theme and it'll install it for you. I'll be back once the theme is downloaded. So our theme has finished downloading and you can see that with minimal fuss and effort we have now a great looking home screen with plenty of utility. And you can just browse themes to your heart's content and download whichever ones float your boat and in a few short steps you'll have it down. And you'll have an incredible home screen that looks something like this one, or even completely different depending on what style of home screen you want. And that is why Themer is one of my favorite apps on the Play Store. An alternative to Themer is Buzz Launcher, and although I personally do prefer Themer because it's just simpler to use and I find Buzz Launcher a bit too convoluted for easy downloading and sharing of themes. Well folks, that'll be it for me for today. Those were my five favorite Android home screen launchers of 2014. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel if you really liked it for more great tech videos and app reviews. And if you think that there's any launchers I may have missed out from the list or that I should really give a try, then feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one. I'm Timo, and this is Time Flies Tech.